Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, that's what we're waiting on. Well, while we wait, let's reflect on where we've been as a unit, as a podcast. Are we going back? As a production. We came into the game young and yay tall. It was Gold Mouth who gave us a bill so we could cop our first eight ball. <laughs> that was Jeezy, but I felt like it applied to us. <laughs> we started off in the trap house. We didn't start off there, but that's where we ended up. Mm-hmm. Chopper on the floor, pistol on the couch. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Made a hundred thou in my trap house. Mm-hmm. Junk is coming in, junk is going out. Mm-hmm. Made a hundred thou in my trap house. Wow. I'm tired of selling bricks. I want to go legit. Woo. But I got too many vices. Love to smoke weed. Yes, and shoot dices. Yes, sir. You heard what he said? He like to shoot dices. Same that here. means it's a whole lot of <laughs> multiple dices. Yes, sir. It's not just a regular game where it's two dice. Yes, sir. Tell it's em. dices. Tell em. It might be two dice over here, two or three dices over there, three, four, five. Tell em. It's multiple three. games going on. Niggas thought he fucked up when he said, let us shoot dices. No, nigga. You just used to playing one game at a time. It's a hundred niggas in the bridge squad. They were shooting dices. See? They be getting the lyrics of the songs fucked up. Yes, what they do? They get the lyrics fucked up. You call it Stephanie. Hey, hey. What a coincidence! I call her Stephanie too! <laughs> you know why? Cause that's her mother, that's the bitch name! When I die, bury me in the Gucci store. You can't get buried in no goddamn Gucci store! Wow! You think people go go in there and spend seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars on some shoes? It's a dead nigga buried in there. You know how uncomfortable that's gonna make white people, Asian folks? Ooh, touche! You know? <laughs> Call them, ask about it. Call them. Shit! Right. Where's Rich Homie Quan? <laughs> Where the fuck is Rich Homie Quan? Rich Homie Quan came out, did the Rich Homie Quan dance, got the fuck on out of here. I ain't seen it. What is Master P doing? Hello? We just trying to figure out some of this goddamn rap game shit. You don't keep up with the rap game. What? Hey, man. The rap game all fucked up. Got me liking shit I don't even like. Like what? Lil Yachty. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what you want? Cold you like Minnesota. Call that like man. That sounds like it's some shit should be from a kids movie, but it be right. They done fucked up and put the shit on the Sprite commercial. Yeah, I heard it. I heard the beat. That's where we at in the rap game. Lil Uzi Vert. I'm fucking with Nigga got a song about how he don't have a Snapchat. Say it's too personal. That's what I got Twitter for. I'm like, what? Are we really? That's listening? what he said in the song. <laughs> that's the hook. It's just such a regular conversation thing to say, man. Yeah. I don't really like. You know, that's like. The hook being, you know, I I'm like telling eat crabs, you, man. but only blue crabs in the summertime. If you say that shit on the right kind of beat, it'll go. Put it on the right beat, then. I don't have no beats. I don't even make beats. Do it in the post. We got people to make beats. People just make beats out of everything. Now, man. Speaking of beats. That beat, you got to give it up for that beat. You know what beat I'm talking about. <laughs> Green you know beans, the man. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 that shit oh, that will jump off. That's, oh, like shout out to uh, Suede, the remix guy, yeah. for jumping that off. That's yeah. 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 If you don't know Suede, the remix guy, he is the remix king who remixed that pussy got a smell, but I'm a fuck, though. Yes, sir. Way before he remixed 
Pastor Shirley Caesar. Right, right. It's a classic. Pussy got a smell, but I'm a fuck, though. Hey, hey, pussy got a smell, <laughs> but I'm a fuck, though. Hey. Pussy got a smell, but I'm a fuck, though. To the youngsters, how you that, did you fuck with it? Come on, man, that shit is everywhere, man. I, I posted this shit, shit on my man, Twitter. If you ain't seen it, you probably mm -hmm. late at this point. Post the shit on my Twitter, the shit get like forty thousand retweets, thirty five thousand retweets and shit. So that's all my mentions looking like. I done heard the song a million times. <laughs> a million different ways. Chris Brown danced to it. Oh my god, Chris Brown. <laughs> I can't, I can't wait to go to the grocery store. You know I'm pulling it. I'm going down the after shop. Green bean, tomato, yeah. No, no, no. Excuse me, can you tell me? You name Can you tell me where the, uh, green bean, tomato, you know Nigga, why? I hate to work at the grocery store this Thanksgiving. They done made the meme and everything. It got Beano, Benny, Benny Siegel on that bitch. And talking about we got, like, they using all the pictures. It's fucking crazy, man. This shit is getting out of hand. 85. Welcome back to another 80. episode of the 85 yeah. South Show. 85. This the podcast that your baby mama got pregnant to with the second baby. We got your baby mama pregnant. No, we didn't. That was a lie. I pulled it out and I get it on a thigh. Know why? Because I'm a very nice guy. I don't mean to be rude. Black girls like a white dudes. Hold up. I meant to say black dudes too that like white girls Cause you know we always got the right Man. girls It don't matter what color they are We put the rubber on it, we gon' fuck them in the car Superstar! Put the dick all in our throat I hope that you got out there so you can vote Hold hey, up! Hey, hold up dude, I was ordering food I got your bitch coming through and she rude She got a bad attitude I'm still like fuck it Get her on that couch and I'm probably gon' fuck it Hey! hey. Yeah! Riding in the bucket, slut walk time, yeah, we always up to something, uh -huh. and we keep it bumping, what the fuck is honking, I got your bitch right here, she's not, we got greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, hogs, moles, chickens, cats, rats, soup, hoops, loops, somebody get a box of fruit, Loose. Hey, fruit they, they, they loose. Let me call my phone with a text that. What? She was saying, where you at? Let's have sex, Greg. I said, hold up, girl. Hey, I need to text back FaceTime. Is she fine? Titties, ass, all that. Yeah. Mm. Looking at the booty. Though. It's looking big boy and Judy. Hey, I want to rub the coochie. I'm freaking like Lil Boosie. Like, <laughs> Mama, why is you recording me? I'm supposed to be recording you. You so handsome. Look at Go my ahead. handsome baby. Go ahead, mama. You just a good catch. You a good catch. <laughs> that nigga is so handsome. Go ahead, now give my thing. I don't care what nobody say. You're handsome. You're handsome. Oh, oh, hey. 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 podcast is brought to you in part by the good people over there and God is dope. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. my man Sherrod for keeping us laced in the freshest dad hats. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know, I, I use all my hats for a case. You know I'm usually gonna keep me a nice new era because I like the brims and shit, but when I'm on my side nigga shit and I'm about to slide through, this is my protection right here. Yes, sir. Before I put the rubber on, I put the other cup on. I put, to, you know, I get closer to God on my way <laughs> over there. You know, when I throw my side nigga cape on, I throw on the hat, God! <laughs> throw the hat on. <laughs> That's just in case a nigga get pulled over or something. Yeah. Where you headed? To the church? Uh, we got a call about a disturbance up there. God is good, ain't he? Yeah. <laughs> so much love over there to the people at God oh, is I didn't dope. Use it. And shit it like was that. 
This episode is also also brought to you in part by the good people over there at Red Bull. Yeah. Red Bull! Yeah, make sure y'all keep sending us this shit. You know, we don't get tired when we're drinking Red Bull. I got to give a special shout out to my man, Gerald Brown, for sending us all these delicious flavors and candles and aromas and shit. You know, we spread, we keep it all gangster. Oh, this what smells amazing. Man, it smells amazing. Smell it. 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 Passion. It's called passion. Man. Oh, wow. So that's where we are with the 85 South yeah. Show. We're selling stickers individually. Make sure you get a sticker. Hey, you man. Can get, get that one. You can get this one. This, Tell them about the Look shit, at this man. one, though. This, you got to shake it up. Day spa. This shit smell good. <laughs> I don't want nothing to smell like a day spa. That smell like white people. This one you put <laughs> in your tanning house. lotion. For your house. If you, want your, if you got white people coming over and you want them to feel comfortable, yeah, you just spray good. this yeah, around. It's, it's a nice aroma. This day spa. It smell like flip-flops and uh, wet hair. Yeah. <laughs> Shampoo <laughs> and condition. Mayonnaise and tanning lotion. Ah! <laughs> speaking of white people, speaking of lotion, why don't white people wear lotion? Who told y'all y'all don't get ashy? You fucking crazy. That's what it, what is ashy for white people? Is it pasty? Man, then they got the you nerve pasty. to put a white lady on the fucking cocoa butter commercial. Who? Palmer's. <laughs> the number one cocoa butter in the black community had a white lady on the commercial. I'll never forget this shit. What she was it doing? It was Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> when did you turn into Bernie Mac? <laughs> motherfucker made me mad. Seen the shit. I fucking put a white lady. Boy got so mad he turned into Bernie Mac. Hey, cocoa butter. Tell what me about you it. What talking about? <laughs> motherfucking white lady. Look up, the bitch on there. I said, hold up. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Fucking white lady. <laughs> what she was doing? Fuck rubbing her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this bitch. Fuck that baby. Fuck all these motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 all we do is have fun. Pull oh, out so we man. don't have no daughters or no sons. This oh. podcast <laughs> right here. This for all the niggas. Who don't know no better, so you just do what the fuck you know, and we can't even be mad at you. Clayton Angus, if you talk knew better, better you people! Would do better. If you knew better, you would do she better. Is. Some people know better, better and still don't motherfucking do it. Hey, man, if you knew better, you do better. I'm just saying, I'm man. Just and you probably get a new sweater, too, if you did better. That way, <laughs> that boosts your confidence. It's yeah. cold outside, get you some sleeves on. Man. Wear you something that you would like to be seen in. <laughs> it's nothing like wearing something. Somebody be like, hey, man, that's a nice little sweater you got on, man. It don't matter. <laughs> Matter the size, maybe you got to the size too small, which is why they said you got a nice little sweater on. Damn, because it's hard to get just pure compliments nowadays. But buy yourself something nice that didn't cost too much that make you feel good. That's all I can say. Basically, and, what you're saying, <laughs> don't is, get no cocaine. I see y'all out there rushing to the dope house right now. Hey, all right, well, he said, do it. So, basically, what you're saying is, drink a Red Bull if your car broke down, get it fixed up. Yeah, something like that. Hell yeah, man. What the fuck? We got you some... ain't got to get it fixed up. If it's broke down, just get it fixed. Get it working. Hey, man. This podcast is for all the real niggas who be leaving crazy-ass comments, man. What are they talking like, about? Like it says, this podcast is for niggas that rather light up a candle instead of paying their bills. <laughs> and this nigga named Sons of Almighty. Damn. Uh, Shanice said this podcast is for niggas struggling with the executive decision to either buy weed or to put gas in the car. Mm. Oh, that, is that the executive one? That's an executive decision. Oh, man, it depends on what your options are, man. You really got to weigh your options. You might want to do a Venn diagram. My nigga. Is you might want to put you two circles that overlap and look in that middle and see what works out best for you. <laughs> man, you, you get you a graph. Get you a graph or some shit. <laughs> Hey, man, talk man, to you. Man, use some of that school shit you figured out, man. Write a pros and cons sheet. Stop making decisions just because, hey, think that shit through. Hey, man, talk to the niggas who might be going through it financially right now. It's a nigga who is really struggling like that. Who? So he, it's the nigga who might be listening to the show right now who down to his last 20. He trying to get $10 worth of gas. Oh, man. Man, man. I think you, I think you, I don't know how much hustle you putting into it, but it's some hustle you got. You got something to sell. <laughs> I'm saying, sell some of them shoes, sell something, man. Sell if you got hey, man, it's stuff out there that can be sold, man. Hey, I don't know how you get your money, man. Hey, you might not want to do no illegal stuff, but sometimes things add up. So, you know, go out there, get you a little hustle. 
Sell you some stuff on the internet. That's what dude said. He said he sell magazines on the internet because he had a bunch of magazines left over and he sell them for like two dollars. What kind of magazine? Whatever he had, he had like old hip hop magazines. Do he might people have still like read some, magazines, bro? But it's just online and you trying to I don't know, man. But you might want a magazine if it's got Pac on the cover or Biggie or somebody right before they you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Deceased, you know what I mean? You know a lot it's a whole big generation moments. of kids who don't know who Biggie and Tupac. Oh man, they not gonna know either. They just gonna fall by the wayside. If you was like say for instance Them kids ain't they they, they don't wanna know. They don't wanna know nothing new. What would you tell them? No new shit, but all the shit they see what is. What did they Tupac think? mean to you? Like if you was trying to tell some young niggas who Tupac was, what would you say? Man, when Tupac died, my pops came in the room, told me Tupac was dead. We went to Dave and Buster's, we ate wings, and some tears fell in the blue cheese while I was sitting there. I ain't even gonna say who tears they were. Yeah, I'm not gonna say All right, let me ask you this. Who is Biggie Smalls? Biggie Smalls? Yeah. Oh, man. Junior Mafia, click, thick, like Luke Dan. Come on, man. Like, that's that's Biggie. Like Anytime I hear somebody say Biggie Smalls, you know what I hear in my head? Biggie Smalls is the illest. I don't know. I fucks with... Man, he had a dope little crew. I liked his style, and he just seemed a lot older when I was younger. Hell yeah. Nobody, like Biggie was what, 24, 25? Yeah, it's both part two. That probably is, yeah. Yeah, they was young as fuck. Yeah, and they seemed old, though. They was but way, they, hey, smart they was way more grown than motherfuckers, even when I got 24. Right. And y'all motherfuckers is 24 now. Y'all motherfuckers 14 in real life. Y'all doing all these dumbass challenges anybody tell you to do? I'm just saying. Y'all motherfuckers about 14 in the motherfucker, man. Hey, hey. I, uh, I got in trouble. You get arrested doing some shit for the internet? What are you, what are you doing, man? I knew was one of the greatest niggas ever when he said, my adversaries cry like hoes. Yeah. Young nigga ain't never had no adversaries before. <laughs> You been mad with some niggas before, but you ain't never had no adversary. An adversary, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. that's hey. a medieval enemy. Hey, Pac said some of the dope shit. Nigga had no adversaries. When the nigga, you ain't had no adversaries. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who when you thought you were. Yeah, you might have had a little adversity. <laughs> But you ain't no adversary. I mean, adversity, anybody go through adversity, but have an adversary? That's like what, adversity. What do you do to make the your person. adversaries cry like hoes? Make money and stun on them, and they can't do the shit they want. Do you know most of these hating-ass motherfuckers is fans? They want to be. <laughs> they want to like you, but you're not doing it all the way they would That's do it, so it they is. hate you. they like, Damn. ooh, if I had that platform, I would have. But, but Puck said some shit there. like, Revenge is like the Swedish Jordan next, next to getting, getting pussy. pussy. I disagree with that. I think head is How much the Swedish revenge? Jordan <laughs> next to getting pussy. Question. Question. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see now. Revenge might be three or four. Let's listen. How much revenge have you had? <laughs> and and two part question. How much revenge have you had? And two part question. Have you ever got revenge by getting pussy? Hold up. First of all, we're taking pussy out the equation. Why? Because. No, no, no. I told you that I took a strong stance. But have you ever got that? No, it's two separate questions. The other one is, have you ever got revenge getting pussy? I don't know much about revenge. I know a lot about pussy. I have got some revenge pussy before. Oh, well. You living on the edge. All summer 16. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm damn, looking was, for revenge. It was that recent? No, God, that's just damn. the revenge part. <laughs> Speaking of Drake, did you see the new video he got with 21 Savage? No. I oh, that shit it. dope. It looked, it looked like they shot the bitch on a camcorder from 1995. It's, it's hard, though. Why, why does everything got to look like it's old? I, I don't know, but the shit look hard. Out. The way it's they good, did it. It's good. It's cool. I feel like it might be up like some shit. I fucked with I, it. Well, what did they... Is it still music video awards? I don't think so. He might win. He gonna win a BET award. For a song? Hell yeah. You think 21 Savage gonna get one? Man, fuck yeah. He Black Beatles one. number one right now. Black, That's I what they say. Black Beatles. And we were talking about the young It's only early. right. It's only, You know what? Shout out to them boys. Big positivity. Yeah, listen to this though. They on Twitter going in about which song is better. Black Beatles or March Madness. Black Beatles or March Madness. That's I don't feel like there right could now. be a better song. I feel like they both dope as fuck in their own own lane. You you so you're not picking one. You can't I'm pick not, one. See, look, I feel like March Madness brought us together as a people. <laughs> and <laughs> Black Beatles was the glue that kept us there, literally. Hmm. 
<laughs> you see, that shit be going over niggas' heads. It's gonna be three, four, five years before a motherfucker come up and be like, this nigga was saying some shit. Okay. Y'all dumb as all right. You feel what I'm saying? No, I definitely feel that. But I think I'm not disagreeing, but I think Bruh, black beetles when, when just March, cover more bases. Okay. It's more accessible. But just one, think about it. One, when March Madness came out though, Future was giving niggas hope. Cause he fucked up a couple lines in the song and niggas just let it motherfucking ride. I don't know that he fucked up. I just don't know what he said. Okay, man. To this day. <laughs> it's his song. How can you say he fucked it up? I, I mean, so whatever he put on there was what he put on there. I still don't know what some of this shit is saying. <laughs> <laughs> Dress it up and go to NASA. Yeah. The Bahamas and space. 200 miles on the The day. Bahamas and space. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what kind of car is a Grand Rapid then? That's a Grand National. A Grand Rapid? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. You changed it for him and you made it. I had to. What car company <laughs> makes a Grand Rapid? First of all, a Grand National is a fast ass Buick. I know what a Grand National is. is. The Carlo. That's what he you, meant. If you forget find what, who, what car company make the Grand Rapid, I fucked with it. That's the Grand Rapid. That's still one of the greatest <laughs> songs ever made. <laughs> No, but I'm saying this Black Beatles cover more. He had bases. one verse that was half Look, of let me get mine in. in. Let me get mine in. Go ahead. Black Beatles got more coverage for everybody. You got the high pitch voice people can join in. Okay. Old people can fuck with it because they ain't got a lot of doing. <laughs> Ray Smurder for the children. Gucci Mane for the gangsters. It's just way more accessible it's for a everybody. Buffet and shit. Everybody has their own part that they're going to sing. Nobody going to sing the same part. Right. Some motherfuckers gonna hit that, you know me. A few motherfuckers gonna hit that. You know what I'm saying? And other people gonna be like, that girl is still trying to get even. Like, they gonna do, like, everybody got their own part. That shit was cute. Came in with two girls look like strippers in their real That's clothes. what I'm saying. It started Come off on. cute, then the motherfucker, then the shit just got grown at the end. I upgrade your baby baba to a car dope. That's what I'm saying. I think it's just more. And I feel like the new accessible. Gucci would actually do that. I love March Madness. I think. Ray Murder made it more accessible. White people had no idea what March Madness was talking about. I feel like and it was more for us anyway. I feel like Future was Cop at, shooting at a bad point when he dropped March Madness. Who did? Future. He just went in that bitch and was just rapping. That nigga came on and said, dress it up and make it real for me. Whatever that fucking mean. I got a whole bunch of random ass rap. I'm gonna put that shit together. Watch me cook. I feel like March Madness is more like some gumbo type shit. Just he poured everything in there. He poured everything. He everything he had. That nigga was riding in a Grand Rapid. He dressed it up and went. <laughs> you said it wasn't no Grand Rapid. Man, you said, said it wasn't I no Grand Rapid. I ain't never. I, I'm the type of nigga I don't take credit from a nigga. You said it wasn't no Grand I, Rapid. I, he if he had one, he fucking had you one. You said he. I told I you. I never what it doubt was. what niggas okay. have. I, Cause I don't know what this nigga doing in life. Did. I don't know. <laughs> you if he did. in the Grand Rapid, riding that motherfucker, driving like he stole it. <laughs> You can hear him driving. Who am I to tell the nigga he don't have a grand record? You ain't hear the skirts in there? He was Man. dropping the hell out of that shit. I, I don't know why Future keeps sneaking in these songs and fucking basic bitches. He got every excuse <laughs> in the world why he fuck with basic bitches. I ain't wanna fuck her, but the Molly made me fuck her even though she average. Come on, man. <laughs> fuck on a basic bitch. Even though she average. The Molly, what do Molly do? If your bitch ugly, get you some Molly. Molly make you fuck Molly with make an average bitch. bitch beautiful, apparently. That's enough to make me not fuck with it. That's what it do. Hennessy will do that too. Because it's like you at the club. It's bad bitches in there. Mm -hmm. You don't see them no more. He just mm -hmm. like, mm, basic bitches at. What? Who knows that smell like? I thought he only liked foreign. That's what he said. He only liked the foreign. I don't know why. I don't know why niggas out here bragging on these foreign bitches. These foreign bitches do be cute in the club. Until you go out of town and then you realize that they got their motherfucking mama working at the Holiday Inn like yeah. hell. Mama working like hell, being the head housekeeper. But then you, you have a little, then you have a little fun. Hey man, you gonna flex all this money in the Maserati, but you got your mama waking up at five o'clock in the morning. Y'all bitches ought to be ashamed of yourself. Then you have a little foreign chick, and she went out and she tried to, she ain't, you found out she was real foreign. She ain't never been nowhere. Yeah, found out she was foreign for real. Been straight <laughs> out of Riverdale with a Jamaican <laughs> accent. Never even been outside the USA before. Wow. I don't know how this shit happened. Then she tried to tell me, fuck it. Don't, 
Why you always bringing up shit that I saying, failed at? Man, that's not a failure. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's man. not a failure on your part. Yes, it is, man. How? What, if you, when, you, it's only a failure if you take it as a failure, man. When I and look, we don't take no losses. We ain't took no L's yet. When I, I look we went about back 50 at episodes. all the bitches I believed in and compare them to all the ones that I passed on, I was like, nigga. These the drugs must have had some kind of influence on you. Put the you put oh. your faith in the wrong bitches. Hell yeah. What can you? I, I, God damn, that's what I'm calling right now. Man, I know what see, you're about to you say. You start talking Stop. about them as they show up. That ain't nothing but the devil. <laughs> right Bitch, pop up like Beetlejuice. Ah, keep me off your little show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on the radio. <laughs> Bitch, this a podcast. This not the radio. Either way. Little stupid, strong head ass, dumb ass little Do you have somebody in girl. particular? <laughs> <laughs> just all of them? I just, hey, man. What happened, man? So why would Sometimes you say I miss just... the most ratchet shit about chicks I used to deal with. I, I, met, I used to mess with this bartender bitch who used to steal money. Miss her. She what you mean she right. steal money? She used to be the bartender at the, at the strip club. She used to always be like hitting their ass up for the uh, for the bread. This was a long time ago. When was the, okay? She a good person now. Shut up, man. Not for real. <laughs> okay. She a good person. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Hey man, Oscar Butler said Carlos is the funniest nigga alive. Shout out to Oscar. Shout him out. Sure, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I don't know who the fuck name this is. This nigga said, make no bones about it. I'm about to start calling this radio show and bug the fuck out of him until he responds. We branding ourselves on this one. This podcast for the cool white folks that got punched in the mouth this week. Oh! <laughs> it just comes with the territory. <laughs> Did he get punched in the mouth? Is that a white dude? What do these people look like? Hey, man, wait a minute. This nigga, point. Jay Payton. What the fuck? Listen to this shit. This nigga said they went from a plush studio to a clothing store to the trap house. And last episode, they was at the Home Depot break room. Now they in the elementary school, but they keep it going. And for that, I fucks with you. Long live yes, the 85. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. You can't stay in one place. No. Nope. You can't stay in one place. That's how you get caught. Oh, you yeah, gotta have yeah. a couple spots you can pop up in. Yes, sir. <laughs> you can pop up in. Look, if I ever been to your house, you might come home and just I be taking a shower in your crib. <laughs> if I ever been to your house, ever, and that's any city ever. If I ever been to your house and I remember where it is, cause I got a memory about like locations, I know where stuff is. I will show. I might come through make a sandwich. Damn. If I got some bread on me, I will leave a twenty. I'm not gonna be I there feel, long. I'm not like gonna wear out my welcome. Up, that's what people fuck up. I man. just dip in like the fugitive. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up? You know, dap up. The dog know me. We good. Let's go. People always. I made change, me a sandwich. Made the dog a sandwich. I left. I'm not taking shit from nobody. That's where they fuck up at. Hey, man, make yourself at home. No. You don't know what the fuck I do okay. at home. No. You don't know what I do at home. No. I'm going to do the shit I do at home. I'm about to take a shower. Man. Then you got some jogging pants I can wear. Give me some socks. I got to do man. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to shit. <laughs> I'm real respectful. If I shit at your house, I'm going to just take a shower. I'm going to have to be in the bathroom 37, 80 minutes. <laughs> I'm still gonna I'm do a, You can't be in the bathroom a long time and come out with the same shit on. You gotta have a change of clothes. <laughs> Nigga, where you get that jogging suit from? Nigga, it's in your closet. I can fit this bitch. If I have shit at your house, I'm still gonna treat it like a public bathroom and use all your toilet paper. Why people to think make you, a little nest? Why, why people That's think you public. gonna come out of your house and only pee pee? Nigga, I have rights to move. I trust you enough to shit at your house. You my real friend. Mm mm. And I, and I don't think you're going to tell nobody either. What else on there? Like, if somebody shit at your house, you are sworn to secrecy. You can't talk about that shit with your other company. Man, Carlos came over here. He must have had some chili or something. <laughs> Nigga boo-boo this. <laughs> I had to open the kitchen window and shit. You don't get to talk about it. Hey, man, but if you got it, man, how far away are you from your house? Hey. Really, if you do it at somebody's <laughs> house and you less than 30 minutes away from your house... <laughs> You wrong as fuck, man. You could have you could have held it. You get two hold it. Hey, you man. get two hold it third time you shitting on yourself. You better hey, get to man. a toilet. Hey, That's on you, man. Pity ass people who don't want nobody shitting at their Man, house. you stay 30 minutes away. You can make it. 
<laughs> no, I really can't. I'm, hey, it's rude. Well, I need to see your doctor's note. It's rude as fuck. You need a doctor's what note to shit at my house. Do what you gotta do. Because if you gotta shit, just go downstairs. <laughs> Nigga, don't send me down to the lunch. No, but you have to say that. You don't know how my house set up. All these toilets don't work. <laughs> fuck you doing? You think you can just shit? You just can't shit anywhere, man. That toilet don't flush. You're gonna have to scoop all that out with your hat. Ah, you should have told me you was shit. You should have said something. <laughs> You should have told me you was shit. The knob broke on the toilet. <laughs> nah, man. buddy, that's not the toilet you use. <laughs> if you sit on that toilet, it's over. You ever shit? You over gotta somebody? go downstairs. Hey, you ever shit over somebody's house and have to turn into a plumber? Like the fuck? How the toilet oh, break? Man. How the fuck did the little oh, knob man. come loose? It only did that when I shit. They've been living here nine years. You shit the most. You spent more time fixing the toilet than you did shit. You shit the most when you at somebody else's house. Whole, I don't even put out this much shit. Your whole arm wet because you had to take that little spray. No. And oh, you went in the back? <laughs> you you had to take the, back. the top off that bitch and get that little spray. The little plunger. The water. I don't know. And then you know that's doo-doo water. You like me doo-doo water? Wait a minute. Oh, it's on my hand. Oh, I just got to do it. It's dirty jobs. You feel like that dude like... <laughs> And you don't even you know try to do it without looking. Back the toilet clean. Why toilet is that water, water so cold? That's the coldest oh, water ever. I don't fucking know. That man. water is cold like Minnesota. <laughs> Shit. That shit is some cold ass water in the back of the toilet. Then they tell you some goofy oh, shit when man. you get out. Hey man, I meant to tell you the toilet was broke. You bitch ass nigga. Well, I fixed it. How you do that? Bitch, you had to take the top off and get your sleeve wet. Hey man, you don't want people shitting at your house? Take the toilet seat off. You punk ass. Take the toilet seat off and then see how they feel about it. Uh oh, Clayton got a girlfriend. Hold on, what's this name? Bridget. Hold on, man. What's okay, Brigitta. Brigitta. Brigitta Freeman. Brigitta. Brigitta. We gonna say it. Brigitta. I like that. I like it that sound like Dragon, Dragon Ball. There you go. Brigitta. Yeah, she said Clayton out here looking like daddy ish for real. I love him for real. Hey, I love you too. And yeah, I ain't nobody daddy, man. But you know, if that if, that, if that's what floats your boat, I'm with it. You just gotta, you she know. A little freak. You can, yeah, but no, I be you know. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a father figure out here, man. Oh, As they say, for all of these. Moments. What's Big Sap Nine? We need a whole episode of the Italians over here. That's what he said, man. You know what? We got you, player. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <coughs> all right, fuck it. Shit hurt my throat. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. It hurts. Mm-hmm. You want me to do a whole episode? I punch you in your face. How about? No, I'm sorry. Damn. I'm just playing, Big Sap. Oh, you sound like a shit. big motherfucker. What this is? Whoa, shit. No, I'm just playing. Clayton English is the type of the cat that will punch someone in the face just to get in school suspension and still make A's. That's Ski 1417. Yeah, I done got a few ISSs. A few ISSs. Nah, you get out OSS for that. That'll get you up out of there. Yeah, man. You, you get to stay home with you that. You can't make physical contact. I mean, you got to hit. Sometimes you just, you know, it be one of them things. You can't let them say it and then... Well, fuck hey. it, We're going to read some other comments throughout the show. We're going to go to the 85 South Show Instagram page because that's exactly what we want you to do. So you should get on Instagram, right, and type in 85 South Show. You have an Instagram? Then click People? follow. Yeah, we just got 10,000 followers on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we just hit up. We about to get stuck up and shit. Get you an Instagram, yeah, Send, you ladies. Get, ladies, once you get ten thousand followers, you just belong to the game, man. That's one K too. You are, you out there? Yeah. You out there in them streets when you hit ten K? Hey. You out there? Hey, all the Instagram ladies, send us videos if you in Atlanta and you like to um, be a part of the eighty five South Show. No matter how mediocre you look. Or anything, we'll just move you around quick. We you really, ain't got. We, we really just, just need want some estrogen. cool bitches. It yeah. ain't about what you look like. We need a little estrogen in here. We yeah. need to just see some, some cool, titties in the building. Right, if some you cool understand. motherfuckers who gonna come through with some Wendy's every now and then or something. Okay, shit. yeah, Wendy's. Hell yeah. yeah, type of chick who like roll two blunts and bring some Rice Krispie treats through this bitch. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How about a cute bitch who celibate who bake sugar cookies? <laughs> we gonna have a pull up on the podcast contest. Exactly. <laughs> Pull up on the podcast contest. But That's you gotta what we're get doing. pre-screened. Yeah, you ain't just we ain't just gonna let you pull up. We can't just drop the location because then they'll just be showing up if all you, the time. No, like, we're doing the no, show this week. No. You don't know what the fuck they gonna If have Young going Metro on. don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. And you don't know what the fuck uh-uh. they gonna have going on in this building in the morning. This somebody job. Right, right. We Bring not we studios. Here is not here. I have to give you y'all an update on the Steve Harvest situation. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stop doing updates. He Don't do no more updates, man. <laughs> Don't do no more updates, man. All right. But some people be wanting to know. I know, but we got to do the hey, thing. And we really appreciate all the fans who we got going the hard for us. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure Steve saw one of them tweets, man. Y'all been going in. You don't got to cuss at them, though. <laughs> You don't gotta cuss at him. If your Twitter get blocked, you gonna know what happened. Right. You don't gotta cuss at him. Gotta you better show some respect to Uncle Steve. You don't have to cuss at him. What'd that say? Hey man, I'm so goddamn scared of this. Hey, don't phone. touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> this phone got a spider web on it. Oh, this nigga got the hey, the hashtag treat her like she treats you still has life form. Yes, sir. My nigga just sent that. His, his girl said, hey, handsome, can we tag this nigga? Hit him back with the $20. <laughs> $20 to text. Wow. Oh, man. Much wow. love. Much love to the sad people out here. I, I wanted to say sad niggas. Who charging had, for the text? Hold up. The I wanted girl. to say sad niggas exclusively, but we got a so lot of please. sad chicks out there holding yeah. it down. Sad niggas. Uh, sad white dudes. I don't know what we want. <laughs> It's some sad white dudes. They be like, man, hey, I'm the sad dude, too. They be wanting to be included. <laughs> so I don't want nobody to feel left. Yeah. Shout out to the sad white dudes, yeah. the sad Indians, the sad Asians, what it, uh, the sad, sad Hispanics. I need a slide chick. Like, she going to have, you, you can't just stay on the side. She's Move. She, she's, she's able to move around. <laughs> go. <laughs> you want a mobile chick. Hey, go. <laughs> Why are you out? <laughs> what are you doing? Ha! <laughs> you that, still here? <laughs> man, that just reminded me of another cold ass lyric. I just put that famous bitch in rotation. Think about it for just one sec. Uh, I think that I think that happened more than not than once. Yep. It hey, happens man. repeatedly. Hey, on some real gangster shit though, Red Bull is delicious. Again, this is cranberry, by the way. If you haven't had it, Switch it up. Everybody loves this traditional flavors of Red Bull. What's your uh your Red Bull flavor? My favorite Red Bull flavor. Yeah, I like the original. Okay. I don't know about all these flavors, but the red is good. It's fine, you know. But I think I like the original. I can't put my finger on it, but it's that, you know. Okay. Oh, oh shit! <coughs> hey, we crossing over to the Hispanic market. Shout out to my nigga Juan Canales. 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 Hold on, let me work Canales. Spanish. Do it again. Juan Canales. Say it like a Spanish person. Wait a minute, he sounds like a boxer. Coming to the stage of the ring, out of the left corner, Juan Canales. <laughs> yeah. He fighting. Okay, shout out to Juan Canales. This podcast is for motherfuckers who say they're going to be responsible and finally apply for a job. But end up staying in the bed all day listening to the 85 South Show. Boy, you need your ass whooped. Get your ass out that bed and get a job, Juan. Stop looking for a job at you 3 in the Spanish. afternoon. It is not in your DNA to be lazy. You got to get your ass Hispanics up to get a get job, up and man. Make a goddamn job. Migo, I clean. I clean up. Yeah, they make You got to get your job. ass up, man. You getting up at 3 p.m. ain't no job. Shit. Talking about, oh, can I fill out an application? No, nah, man. Hey, get on it. Shit. You go to 10 places a day. Hispanic. Every day. For a week, you should come out of it with a job. It might not be the job That's you right. want, but you should come out of it with a goddamn Hispanics job. Hispanics work every day like it's their first day. They be at work working hard than a motherfucker. Much love to all the Hispanic, no racism. Um, this nigga named True Rig. This podcast is for chicks who love crazy ass, smart ass, street ass, fun ass, fine ass, grinding niggas. There you go. I think that's yeah. just a little way of flirting with Encapsulating. us. Encapsulating. <laughs> How you doing? Encapsulating. Uh, I don't even know if I said what we already right. know. Damn right. What type of chicks you like? So they can her, her. They oh, say stuff like that. Bitch. I'm say stuff. I like crazy ass women who oh, do shit man. like order a junior bacon cheeseburger, then take the bacon off and eat that shit. Except I don't know why the fuck they do shit like that. <laughs> that's cool. I to like you. that shit. Eat the shrimp fried rice and take all the shrimp out. Eat the shrimp separately. And shit. Yeah, I don't know about I that. I don't know about that. It's you like you crazy did. ass bitches. Type of chick who just is that what you look for in her? Like, how, yeah. how is she gonna look eat this fried shit. rice? Exactly. She ate her wings with a fork. That's what you like, man. I'm talking about I, if she leave too much meat on the wings. Ah, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Right. I'm I be full. judging women off the craziest shit. I ju- how many emojis do she send send me in a regular conversation? Like she really ain't got shit to say, just a whole bunch of little silly shit. What the fuck do all these little faces mean? Like you don't understand them. I don't know what how to fucking uh, speak emoji. 
Like, she seen I some mean, goofy okay. shit. The smiley face with one eye closed and his tongue out. What the fuck are you supposed to send back? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what the fuck is this? What is that? Send your face doing the emoji so I know what you think it means. What this, this thinking? Oh my God. What is that one? <laughs> Okay, so where does his hand come from? She sent you. How come sometimes they got hands? You ever had a chick who do shit like this? Send you a gift of Beyonce at the concert, looking over her shoulder. What the fuck? Why you send me this at two twenty one? What does this mean? Yeah, you get. Do you need a dance? That's the internet, though, man. Everybody wants. Everybody wants share it. As soon as it happens. The peach came back with more butt. Did you hear about that? The peach. They brought. They made the ass bigger on the on the emojis. Yeah, they. The peach used to represent the butt. Remember everybody. Right. But now it don't look like a butt no more. But then they brought the butt back. It looks even more like a butt. Oh, now, yeah. That's, I guess that's Because they tried to make it look more like a peach. I guess that's just better than sending your girl a picture of a girl with a better ass. Do they have colors? Can you put the colors on the peach to make it an ass for real? <laughs> because y'all putting the peach ass, your ass ain't peach. I think I think that's a whole lot safer than actually texting the nasty shit that you because you don't want to get screenshotted and you saying some. Real but what if she don't understand like your you, texting? But even if you meant that shit, the wrong screenshot to fuck up the whole connotation of that shit. It'll be you know who, whoever saw the shit. You put the eggplant in there, mm, right? And then. And then yeah, what else can fuck it up? That's better than saying, oh, I'm about to put this big dick all in your guts. <laughs> now she screenshot the shit trying to send Is her mama. Is it really better? Trying to send her mama <laughs> email. She, mama see the shit on the bottom. <laughs> well, who about to put a big dick in your guts? <laughs> what you talking about? On that picture you sent uh, on the bottom. Uh, Somebody uh, said they got a bunch of dick for you. Uh, <laughs> damn, so that's what you mean. All right. So speaking code. I feel like you grown it. Yeah, you grown. Like your this, mom. You, this just you know, some random nigga happened. shit. I feel like if you meet your girl mama and her mama don't flirt with you, like she might get you the pussy for real. And I don't really feel like you a good nigga. Like if her mama don't hug you and rub your back and say little snake shit. <laughs> oh, you so handsome. You a handsome young man. If you all right me, now. Like she be saying little <laughs> shit like yeah. If she don't hit you with one or two, all right now and flirt back with. <laughs> Where you taking my baby? Shit, you want to go? All right now. <laughs> don't make me get up. Tell him, tell him, baby, I go. He don't know me. You shit. ain't ready for you me. You ain't ready for me. You ain't ready for I'm me. I'm going to go sit here and no. I'm going to have me a little wine. I'll probably still be sitting here drinking when y'all get back. If y'all want to play some cards or something. Hell no. I'll probably be done cooked something by then. By the time y'all get back, be laying in the bed by myself with the light on. <laughs> you ain't got to go home tonight if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When a mama started throwing you them little hits. <laughs> oh, that's See, a lot terrible. of young niggas don't know when old ladies trying to fuck them. If you ever by yourself. No, nah, if she so said that shit you I'm just said, them, look, they gon' know. Say if you miss instance, them clues. Say, for instance, you at Walmart and shit and you see a lady from your church or something, one lady with the big titties. That hey, man, hey, pick her, why she got big from. The, okay. You know, fine ass, all right, just a fine ass lady who live across the street. You've been knowing her your whole life. This oh, how, man. This is how cougars throw pussy to you. They say this right here. When you gonna come see me? <laughs> That's cold for right. come get this pussy. Right. You grown right. now. Right. <laughs> Pay attention, young niggas. If an older lady say, when you gonna come see me? You in there. Go yeah. see her. Go see about her. You about to be a man. Or she gonna ask you to do some work you about, around the house. You about, to get some, <laughs> you about to get some pussy, some food. You might get an outfit. <laughs> pussy gonna have a little hair on it, more than you used to. Oh, you know she'll get you a video game, too. I don't know Them why. old ladies will buy you a game. That's just to keep you over there. Yeah. You know I got a PlayStation the old 4. Ladies <laughs> like to, old ladies like to spend time. Like, who the fuck PlayStation is this? Mine. This shit ain't never played over there. What are you playing? I do my workouts on that. My grandson got me the week. <laughs> oh. Much love to all the cougars. We love y'all. We love y'all, especially them desserts and pies yeah. and cookies and shit. This really the, like if you got, if you done caught feelings for a cougar, this is really the time that you about to have your feelings hurt because she got real fucking duties to do. She got to cook a whole Thanksgiving dinner. A lot of family going to be in and out of town, so she ain't really going to have time to fuck with you like she used to. So a lot of niggas going to be in their feelings because they cougar is busy. You got a sink full of greens. <laughs> <laughs> Old ladies be having their food prepared weeks ahead. They this Thanksgiving, they've been prepping for Thanksgiving. They at the grocery store this week. I got to get me some greens and some chitlins. You done broke the headphones? 
bro. Oh. Yeah, so this was a much love to all the ladies who gonna cook Thanksgiving dinner by yourself. Yeah. The whole dinner, turkey, macaroni and cheese. These are the vital parts. The dressing, the sweet potato pie, all that shit. You know, it's 85 South Shore. We keep it real. I ain't no telling what the fuck going on yeah. right now. I just know that Thanksgiving coming up. And we got greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, all that shit. Yeah, my, the address is 1945 North Side. 1495. 1495. Who that? That's the chicken. Yeah, I might have oh. the wrong address. It's 1495 North Side. I got beans, greens, tomatoes, whatever. All that shit. Swap it out. Swap it out, Jojo. Okay, is that the address you have? Hmm? What was the address you we ain't got no titties in the building again. <laughs> Shit getting rough around here. One girl sent her titties in the building. Did you see that? I did see that, but I'm talking about like some real live titties in the yeah. building. Hey, man. Oh, that's all it's saying, though. It's, it's 14. We need to find some titties in the building, cat. I'm going to try to put yeah. that in. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna make that happen. Okay. I, we all did. Okay. She, she she flaked on us. It's all right though. Hey, much love to my nigga Los DeLeo. Los DeLeo said this podcast. It's one four. It's for hold on, where it go? North side drive. This podcast is for everybody who mama used the dish detergent for bubble bath when they was little. It's crazy. You got it. Right now, Clayton is currently okay, ordering okay. some chicken wings to be delivered to the 85 okay, South Show Thank you. Brick Wall Studios <clears throat> Incorporated, sponsored by Babyface, all the niggas who sung R&B in the early 90s. It's by R&B? Remember we was going to have the R&B concert? Yeah. Who were you going to have there? Oh, uh, we was going to have people that nobody care about no more. The Who Gives a Fuck Tour. Yeah, the Who Gives a Fuck Tour. KC and JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's their name? Soul For Real. They they opened it. <laughs> Who else on there? Danielle Jones. Oh, man. Brownstone. We got Fat Avant. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get Moke and Steph back uh, together. Oh, Moke and Steph. <laughs> Come on. 702 won't answer our call. Oh, they will not respond. Black, they ain't hitting us back either. <laughs> Boom, like an 808. We tried to reach out to Shopper Ranks. He not responding. He not responding. Nobody can find Mad Cobra. We wanted him to come do Man, flex. I hit Patra up. Man. Nothing. We tried to get... Leaders of the new school, but Buster Rhymes wouldn't agree to it. <laughs> he not coming. He not coming. People still care about him a little bit, I guess. A little Bow Wow said Everybody, he's still fucking Shout out to all them rappers that stay around that long. Hell God, yeah. Damn. Buster Rhymes been in the game for fucking Bust And will rap his ass off today. And I keep it going when I start at 11 7 11 with it. Every time I nigga been doing, you gotta go in and gotta go get him to scratch off and motherfucking two dollars, three dollars, and fucking gotta go get it. <laughs> that nigga be rapping, man. Every time I said it, wait a minute, minute, but hey, why Speaking do I? Speaking of which, why the fuck the is Twister, thing? man? Where's huh? Twister? I don't know, man. God damn. Man. Look on his Twitter. Shit, Twister, Twister on Twitter. Twister told the bitch he'll make her a celebrity overnight. And we ain't seen that nigga, man. He really just been out here making business careers. What if he the nigga you got to see before you blow up on Instagram? Twi Twister. I, yeah, you got to talk to Twister. I can make you a celeb. What do you think he do? Computer now? I don't know. He do tech? He do uh, fucking uh, pub <laughs> he a publicist? I think he, he probably do presentations. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What? All right, look. What we got to do is... <laughs> Flat tummy tea. First things first, got to get you some of that in your hand. You Take pictures of that. You need a little boutique. Hold on. I'm going to up that. I'm going to go ahead and get you a blue check. Just hold on. Oh. No, man. Twister's still rapping. I got to be. Shot Twister, Town legend. Twister's a legend, bro. Shot Town legend, man. I hope he drops some shit. Any mixtapes mix you looking forward to? Like, I feel like we need some music right now. Do we need music? We need some music right now. Donald Trump puss ass and got elected. We need some. We need some anthems, man. They got that now that YG out. song mean even more. Fuck Donald Trump. Oh, I'm playing. I can't wait. I, I'm playing that shit for four, 
Eight years straight. You should have played it more. Hey, I feel like I haven't. The radio played ain't enough. played enough. Obviously, it didn't right. take. Watch the magic of post production. Drop that shit in right now. Fuck down, try. Fuck down, try. Yeah, nigga, fuck down, try. Yeah, yeah, fuck down, try. Yeah, fuck down, try. Yeah, fuck down, try. Yeah, nigga, fuck down, try. Yeah, yeah, fuck down, try. Yeah. I like white folks, but I don't like you. All the niggas in the hood wanna fight you. Surprise, El Chapo ain't tried to snipe you. Surprise, the nation of Islam ain't tried to find you. And we're back. <laughs> Nigga, we so goddamn cold with this production at the 85 South. So much love to everybody who thought that the shit was over, but the shit ain't over because we still in this bitch. And I hope, I I look, they, mm. let me respond to this. Right quick, too, because people are like, man, y'all was in the nice ass studio and then y'all was in the truck. Don't worry about where the fuck we at. We're going to be everywhere, man. Yeah. This podcast is mobile. Yeah. We got wheels. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see us in some nice shit. Then you're going to see us in some ghetto shit. It's just to show you how diverse we are and just to let you know that it don't matter about the situation, baby. It's all about what we doing. If you fucking with what we doing, yeah, it don't matter where we at. You understand? Talk to him, Clay. What was that? Fuck it, man. I'm, I'm through. I no, can't deal with you today, man. You on, you on some bullshit. <laughs> you on some bullshit. I'm trying to get this order in, I don't man. give a fuck about the chicken. I had some chicken weed. already. Well, other people didn't, bro. <laughs> you ain't getting no chicken? Selfish bastard. Yeah, I ain't, you ain't getting no he chicken? He ain't getting none, and that's how the post gonna work. So yeah, we gotta get him some shit. I thought he got like Hell five no. rings over there. The post ain't finna work he with. He gave him some weed. You about to fuck the show up. By no. making sure he ain't get no jiggy. Oh my god! I'm trying I to see to the knees. Four puss ass wings. You, sad. you saw my little four puss ass wings I had. I didn't even get no other kind. Hence us ordering more chicken. Oh. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Oh. <laughs> hey, did you see that Ben Carson said he didn't want his job with Donald Trump because mm -hmm. he's unqualified? Oh, ain't that? Oh, but ben, you ran for president. That's the most nigga. Donald shit. Trump unqualified too. Ah, uh, I'm too good to be in the house with you, boss. I, I'm too good. You no, know man, I, if you think about it, that's the blackest shit Ben Carson oh, that never did. He quit the job before he got it. You want a job? <laughs> Hell no. Let's do some work. Shit, no. That looks hard. No, I'm straight. Man, bro. that looks hard. Hey, right, I'm a surgeon, my nigga. Every day? Job, Every day? Yeah. Every day? Yeah. Every day. And what about weekend? <laughs> I got to move to D.C. <laughs> oh, no, nah, baby. No, sirree. <laughs> Ben Carson, like, nigga, a job? Oh, it wasn't about no money. I'm good. So I get, I, I don't want to say shout out to Ben Carson, but huh, we see you, bro. Well, man, he, <laughs> I think he saw the light. He saw, it wasn't no, hey. Hey, did you see the this shit? The only black person in the Trump presidency? Wait a minute. You gonna soak that bullet up. Did you up. see this shit, though? Trump released his plan for African Americans via media. You ain't gonna make out. my plan for me. No. You ain't got to make no plan for me, Trump. Are you serious? Shut up. Talk what are you to talking him, about? Talk no, I him. don't know about it. I want well, you to I tell mean, him. it ain't really shit to know. Go to me. Where is it? Pull the shit up. <laughs> I don't even think it's on there. What's his plan for African Americans? Hey, he don't have no plan for me. He said that you about to be able to get two ounces for 120 again. I don't give a fuck. That ain't what I want. Oh, that was part of the plan. I don't want it from him. I don't either. I don't want it from him. Hey, my niggas, if you're out here in these streets and you're living illegal, hey, go legit as soon as you can. They playing the game dirty. They got some shit out here that you can't win against. Trust me when I tell you. But that's a whole nother podcast in itself. That's the uh, Stay Out of Jail episode. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk to some former law enforcement and shit. Those when we run, It's going to be one of them days we don't have no weed and shit on us. We're going to talk to some. This people. motherfucker calling it the New Deal? Yeah. What, what, do you remember the old deal? That shit was, all the old deals was fucked all up. All the old deals Oh, was man, them up. old deals make, got got NWA contract not look bad. The old deals. Them old deals was way worse than should. <laughs> them old deals? Shit, I don't want to hear the new man, deal, man. He them gonna call old it deals, the new that's deal. how niggas ended up in the projects for no, 100 that's how years. that's how white people talk to you when they want you to, you, look, here's the new deal, okay? Here's the deal. <laughs> We're going to open a Starbucks. We're going to open a Whole Foods. You're going to move your hey. little silly ass Hey, that's, white people wherever. always got to tell you the deal. You don't never have no input on the deal. Yeah. If you don't believe me, go crazy around some white people. That's the first shit they're going to say. Dude, what the fuck is your deal? <laughs> <laughs> 
White people operate on deals. Dude, man. what's your deal? We're, Not cool, dude. Dude, who dude, do you want to make a deal? Who's we made dealer? a deal. Dude, who's <laughs> yeah. your deal? That's the shit white dudes say before they get shot in your face. Hey, we had a deal. Hey, hey, <laughs> meet me at three o'clock and we'll fucking fight it out, bro. Is that a deal? Shake my hand if it's a deal. He's scared to make a fucking deal. That ain't no deal. Right. I don't want no new deal. That's right. I don't want the new I cause I know the deal fucked up. Oh man. Hey, yo, the you, chicken has arrived again. Are you hearing about the New Balance being the shoe of the race? Yeah, I heard the New Balance came out in support of Donald Trump. Oh new man, all balance. that money folks have spent, all the money black folks have won New Balances. Right. Gotta tell DJ Mars. Right. right. Yeah. New Balance is the official sneaker of all lives matter. Who knew who knew that the New Balance was the balance of power? <laughs> With white people doing what the fuck they want to do. They about to change the name That's to the, the new balance. Clue balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, with that being said, on, pa pass me this. There what has been doing? a rash yeah. of niggas sitting there. Are we gonna finish this fight? Some fire. people are taking out their anger about a Donald Trump presidency on their sneakers. New Balance is facing backlash because it expressed support for Trump's opposition to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP. A New Balance spokesperson also reportedly said the Obama administration had turned a deaf ear to the sneaker company, and that didn't go over well with consumers, as you can see. New Balance released a statement saying it publicly supported the trade positions of Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Donald Trump prior to Election Day that focused on American manufacturing, job creation, and we continue to support them today. It actually costs more to destroy your New Balance than it does to purchase them. So uh, New Balance, just know that you dropped the ball right there. Black people have been fucking with you the long way for a long time. Mm -hmm. And for you to turn around and say fuck us, that is some disrespectful, disloyal, Fool ass, chump, pussy, bitch made, whole shit. I never owned a pair of New Balance. I did. I used to fuck with the New Balance, even the ugly ones, just because I knew how to put them with some shit and make them look all right. Fucked with your New Balance. Goofy ass, big, big ass in the front shoes. Big wide ass in the front shoe. Big ass toe box. Goofy ass colorways. That's where the balance come from. Stupid ass laces. Why them bitches be flat when you buy them? Like somebody sat on them and then y'all put them in the box. Made in Indonesia ass shoes. Talking about these made in Boston. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Made by the same goddamn people who believe we ain't shit. And we've been fucking with y'all this long just because they was affordable. You can get three pair of New Balance for $80 and shit. Then y'all had the nerve to have the all the, the Make white people sh shit that was 159. I was like, ain't no fucking way I'm gonna pay 169.99 <laughs> for no fucking New Balance. They don't have no lights on them or nothing. Did nobody dunk in no New Balance, motherfucker? I'm, I'm mad as fuck at New Balance. All them. I probably done spent at least 200 dollars in in my lifetime on 40 pair of New Balance. That's about what they were. Damn. They was comfortable as fuck, too. But then that, now I realize why they were so comfortable, because they segregated your feet. They kept the front <laughs> from the back. Racist ass shoes. Never really But you never gonna find a shoe that really represent black people. You know what it was? Like, we make, we represent for them, but they ain't gonna represent for Bruh, us. Bro, I knew New Balance was racist, because I never really got comfortable in them. Kind of like being in a white neighborhood. <laughs> Never felt all the way right. Yeah, I never really, like, I always felt like I might twist my ankle in some new balance. Anything above light jogging, you could hurt I yourself. I tell you what, I never did no niggerish shit in no new balance. Like, I never bust no new balance out in no cookout. What do you mean? Like, if it was on some summer shit and I was going to a cookout, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear no fucking new balance. Now, like, yeah, like if I wore some New Balance, it was just because I ain't give a fuck. I had like an off ass blue and only the New Balance hit the shit. I got you. Now it all makes sense though. <laughs> Never was a big fan, man. Man, I'm, you, so you, we done with New Balance like completely. I'm done with everybody. Man. Who make black people shoes? 
Black people make black people shoes. Well, this, where they at? Black look, folks, if you got some shoes, give them some. This the thing, though. Black make them look like the shit I already wear. Black people can make some shit cool. Like, if we just all decide, hey, we about to go fuck with these right here. Yeah, but it don't never be our shit. I know it. We don't have shit. We got shit. We just don't fuck with it like that. The shit just don't be... I don't know. All right, we got... Uh, we ought to come out with some black shit. We got something. This is some black shit. And it's going to be some more black shit. Yeah, I feel like we should have some more black shit. Like, black men invented ice cream. I don't know niggas. I don't know ice cream. No fucking one. Lactose intolerant. Where is the black owned potato Who can tolerate chip lactose? We need a black soda. I can't believe we still don't have enough. Like, if you still like the first black person to do some shit, that's fucking crazy. It's a lot of easy stuff to check off, too. Like what? Like, it's just some pools you can go to, and you'll be like the first black, black person pool. ever to get in this pool. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. It's some national parks you could just set foot in. First and, nigga to live in this neighborhood. Oh, man. First dude to drive a same model year car into this neighborhood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. there's a lot of little stuff that you can be the first at if you're a black person. We've been blocked out of so many things, man. First black man who, who didn't give up hope and believed in himself. All you got to do is touch the bottom of the ocean and you're an ocean explorer. That's it. How the fuck you going to do that? Not the very bottom, just any bottom. Mm, 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 mm. We got to do it. Mm. Hey, man, we eat a lot of pieces on the 85 South Show. We just like the fucking Ninja Turtles. <laughs> hey, underground like the Ninja Turtles. We, and we got more shells than the turtle van. Yeah. yeah. Weed and pizza really enhances the creativity. So that's pizza why we, and we weed. fuck with it. Weed and pizza. How was, how was it? Got some new pizza. Was good? What's good? Mm, mm, What's mm, good? Mm, mm. The pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Give me a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking napkin over here. Who made this fucking pizza? Johnny! Did Johnny make this pizza? I don't know who made the pizza, but it's me who made the thing. Come here. This is the thing. You know, it's nothing like getting some pizza from the old country, you know what I mean? Reminds me of home. I know what you mean. <laughs> One thing about you, you always fucking know what I mean. I, I know. You're a great fucking guy. I don't give a fuck what they say about you. The thing that happened, it happened. Hey, fuck that, but you're a great guy. I know what they say. Fuck them. <laughs> Same shit will happen to them. Be sleeping with bitches. <laughs> you know, those cement shoes. Relax, take your medicine. They come in baby size. Relax, you're getting excited. Fucking relax. Nobody's gonna fuck with you. You're with the kid over here. You, you see me? You can't fuck with the family. You see me over here? What are you, a wise guy? Now you fucking see me. <laughs> you better fix your fucking eyes. She's looking at the next best thing. <laughs> the next best thing, you gotta be the best, best thing. <laughs> hey. Bada bing. Bada boom! You understand what I'm saying? The motherfucker who's better than me ain't even better than me. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> I look around, I see motherfuckers do all types of shit, but nobody does what I fucking do. You know the thing I do? I give it to them right in the bazoo. You know what I mean? <laughs> Grab them right by the cannoli. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I give a fuck. Remember the time you know that's true? He said, he said, where's my money? And you just fucking choked the shit out of him till his eyes popped out of his Yo, like, I choked that cocksucker what? till his fucking eyes popped out of his cocksucking head. Fuck him. <laughs> and then, then you said, what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, low, you. <laughs> fucking crazy, this guy. <laughs> What is this, cox? What are you looking at, cocksucker? <laughs> fuck you. I'll do it again. That was crazy you brought that up. That was uh, eight years ago. Wow. We really been through some shit, though. You know that? Only pass the statute of limitations. Hey, ain't no statute of limitations to choking a motherfucker's eyeballs out of me. Don't ever get it fucked up. 
Man, that shit crazy. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, man. What time is it? Damn, it's 11.30. Like a motherfucker. Where you going? I'm about to go home. Niggas in this bitch grubbing it down. Man. man. So get, I'll take this time the out to, crazy. to talk to some of the people who fuck with us over there around the world. Mm. Much love to all that people out there. In Moscow. Australia. Russia. Australia, big one. Australia, Sydney. South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, some people been sending us some shit we never heard of. Much love to everybody in Opalasis, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck Opalasis. I don't, think, I don't think they know where it is. Yeah, they said they fucking, they did. Uh, it's been a lot of white people joining the, the 85 South Show oh, movement. We need to shout out who else? Uh, other countries? No other countries? Mexico? Bruh, Sweden fucking with us. Sweden, the UK. Not like Sweden. The UK. Norway, the UK. Norway. What about um, something else we missing? I'm forgetting. Brazil? We ain't got no Brazilian? Yes, the fuck we do. Okay. We got some Brazilian people who fucking with us the long way. Mm -hmm. They said, we love the freestyles, but some parts we just don't understand. <laughs> And this is what I would like to say to y'all, Brazil. That shit don't even mean shit where you live, so don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. That's just some shit we doing in America. The part you don't get, that's some real ghetto, hood, grimy, grow up with roaches, put water in your cereal. Just replace shit. it, whatever name we say, if we talking about somebody, just replace it with a Brazilian name or somebody you know. Right. And then it'll apply. Much love to Most all of the, the people in Brazil. Um, what else, man? What what other countries been fucking with us? Uh, the camer the Cameroons been fucking with us. The people Cameroon? from Cameroon, yeah. I said South Africa. It's a lot of pl a lot of parts of Africa been. I just can't imagine us popping in Africa. Oh my brother, the new episode of the eighty five self show. <laughs> The pussy has a smell, but I'm going fuck though. Yeah, I, hey. I love these niggas. Hey, you don't know that, that that like over there, like Ghana, that's like Atlanta. Like it's black folks making it. They getting cars from over here. I they doing a lot not, of the credit card scamming. I did not know that in Ghana was like Racist. Atlanta. Panda, I credit did card not with the scammer. This. <laughs> I did not know credit that Credit card with the scammer. Like, what, in, what if Panda. in Africa they have Atlanta too? Atlanta, Africa. They do. It's Ghana. I'm they telling you. They out there. They balling. Much love to all of my. They'll send you them emails. Niggas. All my African niggas. <laughs> Everywhere. All over East Africa, West Africa, Central Africa, the Congo. I know you. I see you. It is vice also. I know you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you <know>, pussy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You take picture with me right now, and then we cool with Yo, man, this podcast is for all the niggas who don't have no shoes to wear. This is for them. If you do not have shoes, then you should make shoes. You take what you have, and you make shoes. You eat some food, then you take the box, you make shoes. No, no, no. This podcast right here is for niggas who have two ears, but only one ear work. This Person of deaf in one ear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That is the worst African accent ever. That's just uh, how the fuck we get down here at the 85 South Show. This is just a random ass episode. We chilling in Brick Wall Studio. No! Hey! Hello! <laughs> no! Put, put Press 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 uh, Press 3! Hello! Call has been forwarded to I can't hear the motherfucker. Steve! Steve, what's up, man? Yeah, this Earl. <laughs> yeah, the Carlos Nim Uncle. Look, look here, Steve. DC told me call up there. You understand me? Look, they said something happened at the studio, and you you told them they had to kick rock. They had to go. They had to get going. <laughs> look, I ain't mad at you, but that's just what young people do. They fuck up. You can't get mad when somebody fuck up. Cause ain't nobody said nothing. You should have said, you should have came in there and said something. Now look, this is the OG talking now. Call me back. You ain't, you can talk straight to me. You ain't got to talk around me, talk at me, and you can't hurt my feelings. Call me straight back. I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be, uh, I ain't gonna be up here long. And, and plus, my granddaughter got my phone, so...
call the phone. If, if the, you know how them damn kids is, if they don't answer the phone, send the text. I can't text it back, but I, I see that you text and I call you. This, this Earl called me back. Steve, hello? That motherfucker still on? Hang the damn phone up. Hang it up. He ain't on there. <laughs> Y'all better start leaving Steve messages. <laughs> he gonna see all these at one point. No, we ain't gonna never stop leaving messages. Cause look here. He's what? with all these the messages. messages. We gonna fill the sick. voicemail up. We, look Don't here. Do uh, Don't do it. If you still supporting the 85 South Show, you either done fucked up some of your life or you just... You just like pain. <laughs> but look here. We got some of these stickers and shit. You know. You, ain't, you got all this. For all. we, You know. You can all get this. all this all shit. This. Tell them what's up. You can all get this. all this shit. We selling every motherfucking thing. We going to resell this Red all Bull. This. They, keep, they give us enough of that shit. Shout we out to God it. is dope. Shout out to God First is of dope. All, That's the place. None of these items on the table God is, dope. is possible without God. <laughs> First of all, yes. without God, there is no candles. Because without God, you in the dark anyway. Somebody there is, has to light there your is way. no smell good without God. You get it? Because without God, you're going to stink anyway. There will be no stickers without God. Because without God, nobody's going to stick around anyway. Do you get what I'm... What there is no there? Red Bull without God. Because without God, you ain't going to never need wings no way. <laughs> God made all of this possible. What else you got? Give him the rest of the stuff, man. Well, look, without God, okay. there is no hat. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Because you bald-headed anyway. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? See, without God, there is no podcast. Yes, sir. Because right. you don't have no audience. Don't nobody want to hear nobody who ain't about God. God made this possible. See, it's bigger than me and you. You understand what I'm saying? It's not about us. We here to work for God. All the people who be watching the podcast, they be watching the podcast because of God. A lot of people didn't pass by the podcast. Maybe watch one or two episodes. Read the comments, didn't subscribe, or maybe didn't share our shit on Facebook to their little two, three hundred fucking friends. Like it's gonna affect the outcome of what we doing. You understand me? It's a lot of niggas who know exactly what we doing, but try to act like they don't know. What's the name of the podcast? Bitch, you know, because I just heard you singing. Titties in the building. You understand? You couldn't know about the titties in the building without watching the podcast. See, see, that's what God does. See, God will bring some hating ass niggas around you. And then what? So you can appreciate the niggas who wasn't. <laughs> See, God will bring niggas around you all the time who be like, damn, bro, he ain't got no weed. And then once you take hold to that, you'll start noticing the niggas who brought weed. Who brought weed? What if you that person? Who brought weed? What if you that person? You're going to have to understand that sometimes... Your mission is from God. You understand me? Sometimes God gives you an abundance to bless people who don't have shit. I'm going to say that again for the transitioners. Sometimes God will bless you with an abundance so you can bless the ones who don't have shit. See, sometimes God will provide you with a whole bunch so you can just sprinkle off to the people who don't have shit. You don't supposed to go broke, feed motherfuckers who ain't gonna feed themselves. 
But sometimes when they see you eat, you can motivate the spirit inside of them so they can be like, damn, look at Clay. Every time I see that nigga, he fool. <laughs> Nigga keep a haircut. Oh, nigga got a nice sweater. I want some sweater. I'm about to do it like Clayton English do. That's why God give you an abundance. See, 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 listen here. God damn it, the devil is busy in here. Talk to him. See, listen. God, when, when see, we're gonna stay right here for a minute. See, people don't want to talk about their abundance. God ain't just gonna give you no abundance. He gonna see what you know how to do with it. That's why you see everybody trying to run by a big old ass. You wasn't supposed to be having no big old ass. You not built for that. So now you are, you done threw your whole matrix off. See, you wasn't supposed to be a big ass person. Way. Now you done bought an ass. Now you got to remodel your whole chemistry. That ain't your abundance. That ain't what God wanted for you. You, you got lazy, blocked your own blessing. See, we ain't even gonna talk. I'm gonna move on right along because we got the race. We gotta take this collection up and get this money. Oh man. In conclusion, you got to be able to recognize your abundance. Now, if you out here with a whole bunch and you ain't helping the ones who don't have shit, guess what you doing? Sinning. <laughs> You're sinning. You're being selfish. That is the fastest way to get to hell. The church say amen. The church ain't got to say a damn thing if they don't want to. Amen. Now, I didn't mean to go to church on y'all and get all preaching, but <laughs> somebody had to say it. Somebody said Shit. Somebody Sometimes said the spirit just get the point. Oh, you, you don't know where out. the hey. spirit is going to end up at. Hey, I think but, 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 but minus a few words, shit. that might have been about one. You ever be life. on your way to Bible study and just pull up at the trap and just, whoo, now you done bought a bag of weed. You was on your way straight to the church. Who was going to Bible study? Shit, I know I done backslid. I, done, I wasn't always who you looking at. <laughs> shit. Now, hell, I, I, I was a human too. What you know? Shit. <laughs> Before I got right with God, I, I was wrong with the devil. <laughs> You're looking at him. You're looking at him, hell. I didn't I didn't been in them hotel rooms. What you with a handful of crack rock and three or four bitches. <laughs> the church is money. Four On a Saturday night, I supposed to been took this money <laughs> up there and dropped it off for the church. And left right over there and went right in the house of the Lord and lied. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. But God wasn't through with me. Yes, sir. He wasn't through with me. He's still not. He, he ain't never going to be through with me. He ain't never going to be through with me. That's how niggas be. He get to He ain't never going to be through. You hear what I said? I said he ain't never going to be through. Yeah. Have you ever been to one of them Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, though? Mm. You ever been, had to go to AA? Yeah. You right. had to go? Yeah, court ordered. Why you had to go? Nigga, because I don't you know. You got a DUI? No, I had some other shit, but it just, somehow I had to end up going back, going to that shit to get my license back. <laughs> I had to do some community service, Alcoholics uh, Anonymous, DUI class, all types of shit. You, what you was doing? You was the teacher? I was in that bitch line. I needed them credits. You know, I don't fuck with the liquor like that. Yeah, I was just in there drinking everything. I was the young nigga drinking up all the liquor. And they was like, we glad you came, man. We don't usually see no people your age. I was like, yeah, because this shit ain't real. I'm just here because the court told me to do it. Man, what court was this? Kyle Clayton County? County. Oh, okay. Motherfucking evil ass Clayton County, man. Real life shit. Damn. So be careful. Hey, hey, me. Alcoholics Anonymous. You ain't got no stories. Ain't nobody have a good story in the meeting? Nah, man, there was a lot of bad stories in sad. there. Sad. They told they saddest like, story. They don't go to the A meeting and tell this, they best drug story. This lady said, me and my husband made over a million dollars in the real estate industry, and we drank it all up. I was like, bitch, how you drank up a million dollars? Yeah. That must be like partying. 
I she buying know. the bar everywhere she go. I do not know. She have that a lot of functions, a lot of little soirees. Hey, if you, she got if a you gazebo in the backyard. with some alcohol. The bitch like to entertain. Stop having all them parties. Yeah, talk, can we talk Stop to the people who might be having all them goddamn parties, man? Hey, if you Stop sh- trying to kick it. Everybody can't kick it. Hey, man. Motherfuckers got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> that's For what real. it is. Too yeah, much kicking man. it. Hey, look. Ah, that's enough. Go. Get out of here. So you think kicking it leads to habit? See, you got people kicking it, and you the one with, you know, you got the, the million dollars of real estate money, and you drinking it all up. Ain't no way you drinking a million dollars worth of liquor. Let that means some other this, people yeah. right there helping you get towed down. Let me ask you this. And you me. like the little life. What would you say to the people who may or may not be struggling with addiction out there? Do you have any advice? Uh, no. How am I going to help them? I'm just saying. Nigga, <laughs> I'm you, just saying, baby. You who you get it from? You have an See, influence. be in the streets. We'll swap plugs. I might have a better deal than you got. You might That's have a better deal up. than I got. What I do you ask, want me to say? I've been trying to bring these niggas around some culture. They don't give a fuck. I'm just saying, if you got a problem, man, you just got to address it. First step is knowing you got a problem, man. There's not too much you can even do with with people because if they they won't realize they have a problem, they're not going. They're not going. And it's sad, but a lot of times people got to goddamn skint their whole face up and hit that rock bottom before they decide to go in. Do you ever watch Intervention? No. These motherfuckers on Intervention sneak back to the van, be high in the Intervention. (laughs) We just want you to go get some help. No. No. Uh Uh-uh. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm good. When you get high, I'm good. <laughs> I, I only smoke a little bit. I only smoke on Tuesday. I'm good. I'm not. They probably on. take the intervention better. High. <laughs> Your drug habit is destroying this family. <laughs> I ain't going. I'm good. I'm, I'm oh, good. but then, then that's another thing. If you You're destroy high right family, now, aren't you? No, I, I ain't even smoke. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Mm. I'm not going. I don't want to go. Let me go. Give me some money. Can I get some money? You stupid. <laughs> No, if you ain't got no, if you ain't, you know what I'm saying, like, if you fucking up other people's lives, then that's on you. And sometimes people, if they fucking up your life, you just got to let them be out there. Let them hit that bottom, man. You can't keep cushioning them, because all they need is that next hit, and they just going to keep trying to get that next hit. You ever heard a crackhead try to reason? I don't talk to I work that much. five days a motherfucking week. <laughs> if I want to do my thing on the weekend, so the fuck what? I, I don't bother nobody. I got my own money. I'm grown. No, hey, it is what it is. It over with for me. It over with. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Huh? What I'm gonna do? Shit, everybody got the answer. No, nobody got a lighter though. <laughs> Man, you fuck with The Walking Dead, right? Oh, man, I fuck with it a little bit. I don't know shit about it. I, I feel like they have... Oh, well, I'm not finna sit here and tell you about it. Audience. <laughs> Every episode, they made a whole show. Where is the mystery? <laughs> Every episode is the same shit. No, to me? it's not. But it's just motherfuckers gonna keep dying. It's one of them shows where they don't give a fuck about the main characters. Oh. The main characters ain't even the same from when the show started. No. Oh. It's maybe about three people left from when the show started. You so. still a fan as much as you were? I mean, how much? I wasn't never dressing up like no zombie or no I mean, shit. God damn, damn, you you like like, damn. You still a fan? Damn. Still a fan? You still you like dressing like, up like zombies? You ain't like I accused you of that shit. That's the first still shit you Still shooting your crossbow? <laughs> That's how I know you done did this shit before. No, this motherfucker said you still a fan like you. I'm asking you, what did I it? used to be? That's just supposed to say, hey, you still fuck with it? Nah, not ever since I dressed up like that zombie. <laughs> shit left a bad taste in my mouth. Motherfucker, you still a fan like you used to be? Oh. How was I a fan? Was I ever cheering for the zombies? Man, you got Do I have a jersey with blood on it? Like, yeah, walking dead coming on. <laughs> I got wings, pizza. <laughs> We go eat the game and watch the game. Are you still interested in the shit as you were? I mean, it's all right. My mom do extra work on the show, so that's oh, the main man. reason I watch it. But, mm. you know, so. I mean, it come on. I watch it. I catch up with it if I can, but I was a whole period I wasn't caught up. But I don't get a lot of downtime. I just so. want to see one episode where they got a real Atlanta zombie on that bitch. <laughs> Show <laughs> it. <laughs> with you, boy. There be a lot of motherfuckers get shot because they off a Zan. They just get shot. They gonna think they're a zombie. Crackheads and zombies do look familiar. They be on some zombie shit still. Similar. My (laughs) name, Bill Hosley. 
trying to get him some. <laughs> so I sound like a ghost, though. Some type of way. <laughs> Yo, so some sound type like of the way. Oh, nigga, the walk. That would dead. be scary, though, just to hear anybody in that voice sing any rap lyrics. Oh, nigga. Like, you sleep and you hear that? That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, some NBA team to boycott staying at the Trump Hotel now. I wouldn't stay at the Trump Hotel either. They got bed bugs. <laughs> Trump Hotel got bed bugs. If you don't want bed bugs, Donald Trump bed hair bed. got bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Donald yeah. Trump part bed bugs. <laughs> hey man, can, can you do the voices from the horror movie? Huh? Like horror movie voices? Like the like the niggas from the horror movie. Yes, now you've come here. Got to squeeze your titties. Fuck you. <laughs> what scary movies are you watching? What if that nigga from the scary movies in the club trying to out that bitches? Ooh, what yes. nigga? Yes, you're a bad bitch. Candyman. Oh, you mean watching Candyman? Your okay. Girl night. Got your Instagram. Candyman, don't he show up in the mirror? Nice selfie. <laughs> bitch, take a picture. This nigga got his arms wrapped around her when she developed the picture. This bitch. What the? the I was by myself in the bathroom. This, Who? This bitch act like she can text me back. But the bitch wanna get on FaceTime. <laughs> bitch, turn her phone off. It still ring. Bitch. <laughs> 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 it's zero, but she gotta show it. It's zero percent. <laughs> Answer it. Don't answer it. Answer Don't it. fucking text me and not answer my face time, bitch. I'm going to give you t 2.45 a.m. to return home. If you are not home when I call you, I'm going to take your soul to a hand. Oh, you mean like Jigsaw? He give her a little puzzle she got to solve? I saw you were out at your girl's house. I've made it so only one of you's gonna leave tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. She fucking around and burn him. He'd be on the voicemail. Look, bitch, I don't know what you did to my dick. <laughs> but there's green shit coming out of my penis. <laughs> if you don't gun me back by 2.45 a.m., I'm going to chop down your throat and come out of your ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Monster Man, what, what you doing with them white bitches? Look, nigga, don't ask me about no white bitches. I met these hoes at the grocery store. I needed change for a dollar. <laughs> this bitch was kind enough to give me a ride to the Chevron. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you see me with a black bitch or a white bitch, but just know you saw me with a bitch. <laughs> hey man, why you never pass the weed back? Look, nigga, this is not your weed to be patrolling in the first place. When we took up the money to get the weed, you didn't give us shit. So any weed that you smoke <coughs> will be because I blew it in your fucking face. That <laughs> 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 shit crazy, right? <laughs> Listen, stupid. if you niggas are still watching the 85 sub show, <laughs> you made the right decision. <laughs> the you try to turn or watch another podcast. <laughs> I am going to jump down your throat and come out of your ass. <laughs> What's the name of the movie? 85 South Show. A nightmare. <laughs> nightmare on 85. Ass. Nightmare from your ass. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking retarded. Listen, if you are not a fine bitch, <laughs> don't ask me anything. Hey, man. I always wonder when I can use that voice. You want some head? Yes, bitch. Give me all the head. 
You gotta do I it all the way you though. I want to slob on my shaft and lick my balls. Leave a trail of spit on my nuts and shine them up like trophies. You gotta do it all the way. You gotta have your hands out while you <laughs> Yes, I will. Yes. Yes. Oh, the head. Oh, yes. Make sure you pull out. There will be no pulling out tonight. Tonight we make a baby. <laughs> You gotta pull out. I'm not on nothing. I did not ask you what you were on. You will have give me a son tonight. <laughs> I pretty much the plot of Black Hitler and Vampire in Brooklyn. What if your girl get into this shit? Oh, do the monster voice. <laughs> Man, quit playing. I'm not doing that shit. Do the monster voice, please. Okay, go <laughs> to the room and remove all of your panties. See who like it. Call them, leave them a message like that. The ones that hit you back immediately gonna be the ones with it. Listen, bitch, this is the third time I've called. Don't worry if you ever try to go to sleep. You will see me again. That shit gay. <laughs> Quit doing that shit. Fucking Fuck retarded. God gonna hit me doing that voice and be like, okay, keep it. <laughs> No, he might get you for that preacher shit first. No. <laughs> How you gonna get weed with that voice? Listen, nigga, I need two ounces of blueberry kush. <laughs> Give me a three five. All right, man, we about to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Yeah. Uh, oh, the name. Oh. Stephen of Harvey, first of his name, ruler, I come to you as a king. I have come into the presence of two loyal subjects. They are the finest of men, they fought valiantly for me. And to hear that my bannermen are no longer welcome in your kingdom, well that just does not set well. It wells up in my stomach nightly. I think about how strong our men have been, have been and to be denied your kingdom, well, perhaps you're comfortable with your kingdom, but if you don't want to incur the full wrath of all seven kingdoms as they come crashing down on you, on a monumental scale, we will ride our dragons. We will send our wolves. We will have what is ours, Stephen. Let them back in the studio. They're fucking all the maidens. They're out here fighting the dragons. They've got half the people hooked on Kush. Half of the kingdom is sleep, Steve. While they are excellent bannermen, they are fucking up the rest of the realm. We need this for the future of the realm. There we go. <laughs> Steve, I, I come to you with my head bowed. <laughs> Trouble sets my mind back and forth. I wonder, I ponder the ideas of a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Whosoever to be banished from the kingdom shall be granted permission to return. I've left Countless scrolls. I've sent bread and mead, and I just—I don't know, Steve. I—I I really just want to offer a handful of gold shillings <laughs> as a peace offering. I don't know what else to offer a man who has it all. Maybe some of our finest whores, and some of our bed wenches. There is not much else I can say, Steve. If you want my countrymen to leave, then I too must leave. I'll be leaving before sunset. <laughs> I'll gather my things now and 
tonight I will sleep behind the old blacksmith shed. <laughs> So we've been forced to lay our heads. <laughs> I guess we shall go live in the woods with the lepers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Or maybe we should hobble along with the cripples. <laughs> you would like that, wouldn't you? Us face down feeding the worms. <laughs> our orphans will starve to death before the sunrise. Before I let you ruin my kingdom, I will burn the whole kingdom to ash. <laughs> Never has there been a king so bold, so mannish, so self-serving. <laughs> well, what is this travesty? I walk in and I see someone with one of my horse. Boredom, it besets me. It makes men do things out of character. A lesser man would fuck the winch. <laughs> but a man of my stature dismissed her immediately. You haven't enough ass <coughs> for that type of attitude, fair maiden. Be gone, I banish you from my sights. Well, you know, even though I come from a lower land, I too am quite the pimp. <laughs> I mean, I'm a gentleman, but I'm the type of fellow that would pull a trick of sorts. Uh, I'll trick a bitch out of her wind. Take the bitch's life and bring her back to life again. <laughs> that's some cold shit. <laughs> some cold shit, oh, man. No, that's ancient. That's old. They go back to the, old, or to the old land. Then you'll pull up on a bitch in a carriage. Think My you, chariot awaits, fat maiden. Think you can pull a bitch in a chariot? Come on, man. Come on, bro. You acting like I can't pull a bitch on feet. I do this shit barefoot. I was good in any century. I tell you that our time travel right, still so get you, home. How would if you was a slave? How would you be pulling bitches? Oh, man. You know that's fucked up. I know it, but we got to start somewhere. Well, first of all, you the one said you gonna trap, nigga. We gonna go to the future too. But I'm just I don't saying. care nothing about the smell. <laughs> I was out there in the field all day too. Look, we look, look. Now I be seeing you. I, I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't seeing you. Every time that sun glisten off your face, uh, when you bend over, I, I see you. And, and, and a man like me, well, it, it just don't make no sense for you not to see me. See, I, I see you. Duh, duh. I know we can't be seen, but at least we could see. That's what you gotta do, man. In his century. That nigga said, I know we can't be seen, but at least we could see. Yeah, you got any century. Wow. You put me anywhere, I'm good. Man, I you know slave had that game, though. Now, they listen, did. Now, listen here. You give me a piece of that pussy tonight, next time I head north, I'm taking you with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, me and you, we gonna have plenty of freedom. <laughs> but how am I gonna get you to freedom? If you won't give me none of that free. <laughs> Come on now. I already got enough slavery on my back. Just put a little puss on my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now listen here. That's why people follow Harry to me. All I need from you is just an inch more of that pussy. <laughs> just an inch more. Just a scoot. Now listen here. I got to get up early in the morning. I got to get up early and get them chickens together. But right now, I just need a scunch more than <laughs> If you give me some of that pussy, just this show is Jeff Rowe gonna get up jumping. You think I say some crazy? Just this show is Jeff Rowe gonna get up jumping. A little scunch more than pussy. <laughs> How much more you want? Just a scunch. 
just an angel. Give me an angel. No, 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 no. I, I know I seem like I'm asking a lot. <laughs> but maybe you confused about my definition of a squint. Hey, this how, is this how Slade said it. Now listen here. With all due respect. <laughs> you gotta start it off with that. Listen here, now with all due respect. Just give me a scotch more of that pussy. And I'll be on my way. I'll, I'll be on my way. I'll go back and lay under the potatoes, I swear to God. Just for a scotch more. Oh, a scotch more. Oh. If she try to offer him that pussy. How niggas gonna be pulling bitches in the year 3030? Oh, you gotta have your, what you call it on? <laughs> what? It's all gonna be uh, telecommunication. You just go talk in a bitch head. Hey. <laughs> you have to sit there and think about the shit. Hey, it's a few things I'd like to do to you. Would you like to download interfaces? Perhaps you're compatible. I have a USB port. <laughs> you get the error message. Software, not compatible. And that's when you find out a bitch ain't gonna work right off the rip. Mm -mm. System malfunction. <laughs> what? Why are you still doing this? Click yes if you sure you want to fuck this person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure you want to fuck this person? Yes. <laughs> Zero compatibility between these two people. Are you sure you want to fuck this person? God damn yes. these pop-up windows. Well, look, the only good shit about Get the, the fuck out of here. Yes, I want the pussy. The only good shit about the future is before you fuck, you're going to see that little shit come up. Scanning for viruses. <laughs> 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 the worst part gonna be when the wheel the when the wheel starts spinning at ninety two percent and it just, it just stop. <laughs> then what the did you do? The bitch freeze. What up. did you do? She can't say nothing but the last <laughs> shit she said. Sure, you could have this pussy. Sure, you could have this pussy. Sure, you could have this. Well, sure, you could. Oh, sure, man. you could. Sure, you. Sure. <laughs> you gotta take your bitch back to Best Buy. Oh yeah, I just got this bitch. Oh. <laughs> I got her when she was new. She came out, and I got a warranty still. So she gonna be able to pull her pussy out like a hard drive. It's just gonna be a pocket down there. <laughs> you didn't bring your pussy. We don't need the pussy yet. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. you gonna oh, be man. at this salvage yard. Hey, you ain't got no extra pussy parts back there, do you? <laughs> nah. Man, I'm trying to put my bitch back together. All I need is a mother boy. <laughs> I'm gonna need. <laughs> nah, I but, mean, you can probably get a good salvage pussy in the face. But hell, you're gonna have to look for it. I mean, so. Oh, well, hell, they don't even make that model no more. Shit, as soon as I get them, they, gonna, they fly right out of here. Is, man. That, the, is that the Locatia 9000? Yeah. Or is that the Tanya 1400? If it's a Tanya 1400, that's nothing I can do for you, buddy. Ain't nothing I can I'll do tell for you right you, now. Man. Those damn Tanyas fly right out of here, buddy. Well, all right, I'll tell you what, put her up on the lift. Let's get a look at her. Did you know? <laughs> Shit me, that's a lot know? of miles on that engine. Did you know that you can put an 89 Tanya on a 99 <laughs> Shit and they fit perfectly. They line right up with each other. I've been in the business for a long time, and uh, you be at the house by yourself, those man. Damn Tanya, as soon as we get them, they fly right out of here. Cause Tanya's a general name. It could be black or white, so we, people just switch them out. Yep. But uh, yeah, man. If you want to leave your name or anything, if I come across any of those pussy parts, I'd give you a call. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, this is Pet Boys. Uh, we just called them to tell you we can pick your bitch up now. Uh, uh, we're about all down. Got her off the lift. She's out front all polished up, sitting looking nice. Well, all well right. we got her up there. Notice one of the titties was loose. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to extra charge you. Yep, one of the titties was loose. When the last time you got your bitch flushed out? <laughs> I'll tell you, we went to put that new pussy on the radiator fluid. Came leaking on out of there like you would not believe. <laughs> They telling you shit about your bitch you ain't know. Yeah, well, you know if you listen to her, you won't have to keep bringing her up here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we got the digging around in that damn engine. We found all type of old feelings and text messages. You got to start listening to your bitch, man. Oh. You got to listen to your bitch every 3,000 hey, miles. If you listen to her, she'll tell you what you need to do. Now listen here. You man. know when the oil needs to be changed, all you got to do is listen. Well, look. You come up here, you want your oil change. We get your car up on the lift and notice your bitch has a broken heart. No. <laughs> we can't send There's you no out. way to fix it. There's no way to fix it. We can't send you out of here like this now. You want me to go in there and put some dick in her and see what I can do? I can bring her back. Now I'll do what I can. 
I can at least get it back talking to you again. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. You stupid. Hey, man, why you, why you got your both hands in it like that? You stupid. That's terrible. Feminists going to love that. No, they not. They yeah, get y'all. mad anything. They get we was mad. talking about robot bitches. They, they weren't real bitches in case female. you ain't figure it out. Nobody talking about real women. We love real bitches. Uh, women. <laughs> we love women and ladies. I like women bitches. <laughs> I don't like man bitches. I don't like man. I like women bitches and lady bitches. Uh, yeah. Cool bitches. I don't Rude even know. bitches. It depends on what no her definition is. Pool bitches. Yeah. Dive all up in the pool, bitches. Never went to Them school, bitches who bitch. be cool with you. Until. Them bitches who don't fool with you. Mm-hmm. You know how it go, man. We like all kind of bitches. I like. Black bitches, white bitches, uh, loose bitches, tight bitches. We like good bitches and all right bitches. Night bitches, day bitches. Sleep bitches and hype bitches. Leave bitches, stay bitches. We like. Uh, fat bitches, skinny bitches, short bitches, tall bitches, most bitches, all bitches. We Yo. really love y'all bitches. <laughs> but we love, uh, not really bitches, man. I don't like bitches like that. What you like? I like the ladies. Well, talk to them. <laughs> what kind of ladies you like? The classy ladies. The what ladies kind of who ladies? look good with clothes on. Talk to them. The ladies who look good with clothes off. Oh. The ladies with that grown pussy that know how to work it and yes, do what it's supposed to do. Yes, really? I That's like them ladies who know when to give you some coochie and when to give you some pussy. They read the room. Right. You got to read the room. You got to right. scan the room. What do I feel like today? Exactly. It ain't about what you felt like cooking up. I need it's a, about what I felt like I need eating. a woman who knows how to determine, do this nigga need some head or a blowjob? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking yes, about. Sir. Yes, sir. I need a woman with some skills. A skill set. Head is them for ladies. Head is for them. Right. Blowjobs are for us. Talk to them. Ladies give head can for themselves. They give a blowjob for, for constituency. you. Ladies give head for themselves, but they're going to give a blowjob for you. If she's giving you a blowjob, she's really for you. That's right. There you go. So you like ladies? I like the ladies. I like women's. I like women. <laughs> Not with S. I like women's with a Z. With a Z? <laughs> with a Z. It still sounds women's. Okay. Where the women's at? That's what I like. I like women. Motherfucking right. I like, but you know, hoes. I mean, I like, I like women. Hoes are part of the like, economy. So. Women's know how to fry fish. Women's do? Hell yeah. I don't know no women. I know some women's. I don't know no women. I'm talking about, I like women's. They, they make, they not only do they cook, but they make sides too. So they they down home they home. You fuck around meal. and get with with the women's. You gonna get a whole plate and some apple pie with a little vanilla ice cream with it. But there's only one of them. <clears throat> uh, it's two or three of them over there. It's a few of them over there. Okay. They talk real loud. Okay. Yeah. So women's plural. We yeah, it's a couple of. Them. Gotcha. French Montana had a birthday recently. French Montana. Yeah, Did he get yeah. another monkey? This nigga had an elephant at the party. Come on, man. French is an exotic dude, man. Hey, man. French the wild thornberries in person. <laughs> French is getting a lot he be of dressed like, money. He be dressed like Curious George Owner sometimes. He got, he a, got monkey. a monkey. <laughs> yeah, he got the, you know, he got. Hey, French Montana really peacocks. out here winning, though. He okay. like the black crocodile hunter. He, he really out here winning. I guess I, 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 if you buying exotic animals, you have an influx of money, I would hope. Yeah. I hope you ain't spent your last... Sixteen thousand on the chimp. I don't I hope know how not much it costs. I hope not. <clears throat> yeah, that's his boo. She everywhere with him. Shout out to Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea. A lot of people be talking shit about Iggy Azalea. Just don't even know. Oh man, you know what? Did they run Iggy out Azalea. of the game? I'm, and man, fuck, fuck if you like the music or not. But did they run her out the game? You see Iggy though? Azalea. Iggy one of the top five white girls of all time. I don't give a fuck who you talk to. I, I, I don't, I'm not going to argue Iggy fine the motherfucker. I saw I'm also not in a position ass. to go through the top five. White that girls. ass heavy. I don't know who the other four are. I just, I'm just saying, if we talk about five. Renee Zellweger. If we no, talk listen. about five white bitches, I want Iggy <laughs> Azalea to be in there. Put her up top there. Hey, I did you hear that. Angelina and Jolie and Brad about to get a divorce? Huh? You said Angelina and Jolie. Oh, Angelina, Jolie, and Brad Pitt. <laughs> Who is Jolie? Nigga, all them motherfuckers getting Jolie divorced. was the same. Angelina, dude. Jolie, and Brad Pitt. They all breaking up. That shit breaking crazy. Breaking news as we speak to Jolie. <laughs> was supposedly responsible for splitting up Brad and Angelina's yeah, marriage. Yeah, Jolie, bro- yeah, that's what the fuck happened. Jolie broke up Brad and Angelina. Yeah, I was fucking. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> 
That really ain't have shit to do with our show. I was just asking if you heard it. I mean, I I be hearing stuff, but I don't be hearing. I don't listen. Yeah. I don't listen, man. What if it ain't about some money, I ain't finna listen. All right, let's do. Is this about some money? Let's do the the closing and get the fuck out of here. Anything you want to say before we get out of here? Oh man, everybody stay blessed. It's coming up. We creeping up on holiday season, so you know what it is. Spend time with your family. Kick Um, it. Bring something to the table. Give them a few more pointers, you know, because we're going to keep that shit going through the holidays. You know, this is holiday prep. Hey, this is about the time of the year where you need to start saving up your money. And no excuses why you don't get all the people that you care about something this holiday season. So we're going to, for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be encouraging you to try to do the right thing on the holiday. It's not the amount of money you spend. It's the thought that counts. Okay, Make sure so that you get everybody who important to you something and let them know you appreciate it. We're not going to black out Christmas? That's no, not even I an mean, option? Nigga, we, I mean... That, we, would, that would hurt the economy. That's what folks we, were saying. I mean, but we, folks don't we never tried, do it, man. We tried that shit. Them Black already. Friday sales too good. We tried that. It's they, too much like the purge. We're not missing two Christmases in a row. Did nobody get shit last year? Oh, no. I, who didn't? This year, we're going we gonna to get everybody something. I'm just saying. around Across the board. All right? So, yeah, make sure you do the right thing. This is the 85 South Show. This is the podcast for you, for listening to the whole shit. My name is Carlos Miller. Clayton English. And we out this bitch. Again! Yeah! 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 How are we, guys? Great. We're fucking, we're we're hot. Did we kick kick bitch ass? Well, that's great. Eight to five.